Hello guys, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this is gonna be a very short video and uh, this video is to show you how to set up LB, LP project using XML. Okay, uh, let's start. So here I'm continue using the same project. If you are interested in Java config version, you can watch my last video or take a look at this term. This is Java config version. And uh, uh, if for XML, the only change is configuration, okay? You still need to add dependency, okay? To dependency uh, along with Spring context. And uh, I have this package, already have some uh, class ready. So the first one is uh, customer service, which is interface. And we have a, a customer service import, which implement this one, have a more method do something. Oh, it's better to using service, right? Better using service. And then I have an app, app to initialize the application or start the application, I will read the XML instead of Java config. Okay, after read, I get an application contest and I want to Spring to give a bin for the customer service and then I call the method, do something. And in the Spring uh, XML, I just have a component scan here, right? Just a scan for the entire package. If it have a component based annotations, Spring will initialize the beans for us. And also, if it has dependency injection, it will wire those uh, uh, objects uh, together for us or connect those objects together for us, right? So next one, suppose we want to add some LP. So we have to write an aspect, okay? We will write again, log aspect, okay? And uh, here we have to have the what? The advice, right? This one I will have another advice which is log after. Which is after the method is invocated, I will call this one. A system of logging after method invoked. Okay? And to do that, first we have to enable tail Spring. This is an aspect. And we also need to ask Spring to create an instance for us for this class. Then we add a component because it doesn't match service repository controller, REST controller. So we use a, uh, or, uh, 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 what's the thing? Um, uh, regular, or oh, not a regular, no particular meaning component, okay. The default one, okay. And then we're using the uh, last time we're using before, this time we're using after. And uh, after this one is a point cut, we are using execution for any method in current application. Any, uh, uh, sorry, for any return type of the method in the application for any method and uh, for, the, for any argument. This one means any argument. And after it's done, uh, if you still remember Java config, you have to enable aspect J, right? How to do that in XML? In XML, uh, make sure you have the LP, this um, con uh, XML namespace here. After you add the namespace, make sure you have a schema location, okay? And then, LP, aspect J, auto proxy. That's it. This one is equals this one is equals to this one. This annotation enable aspect J auto proxy. Okay. In XML, you just add this line here. And uh, after when we run one more time, okay, we will run this one. You will see do something, then you will have that uh, login. You will see do something. And since it's after, you will have a login after. Okay. So uh, if you want to have also have, uh, if you want to using the class, using the class instead of interface, okay, you want, which means you want, you don't want to using dynamic JDK, you want to using the CJLib, then you can using proxy target class. So Spring, we are not using the uh, dynamic JDK, it will using the CJLib, uh, which is make a new class, extends this one. 
so that's it for this video and uh, if you want to uh, download the source code you can go to the description and uh, see you next time bye bye